Hey YouTube, Sweet Knives here. Check it out. We got another knife. This is actually knife number knife number two that I'm videoing on the Precision Pro Adjust, the Professional Precision Pro Adjust. And what I wanted to do is um, just go through the whole sequence. And I want to give a big shout out to Little Fit Devil for sending me this knife to sharpen. So thank you, everybody. Check out her page. She's got some really kick butt stuff. You won't be disappointed, trust me, on that one. Um, all right, so look, we're gonna, I got this kind of set up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with 220, work our way up through the lapping films and get this knife to a super mirror finish. I've already done a little bit of uh, pre-work on this. I just wanted to get the angle um, correct. But the way you do that is you draw a magic marker like that and then what you do is you put on um, a higher grit and then you just start um, grinding to see if it takes off that marker and as you can see in this case it does take that off and so what we're going to do is we're going to just keep going until we get a burr um, the cool thing with this one is you can put this little plastic piece that they include there to balance the knife and stabilize it so now it's stabilized and what we want to do is we just want to keep going like this until we get that all the marker off on each side and we form a burr so we're just going to keep going until we go through this whole process and it's it works really quick you can see um, I'll try to zoom into that a little bit more. You can see it's already taken off a lot of that. And you got to have these rags to wipe this. You don't want that diamond dust to uh, um, get over the next grits that we do. So you kind of want to keep wiping that. And so the beauty of a system like this is it matches the angle. I already, I already can feel a burr right there, right there. A little bit more I got to do there and a little bit more up here. But I can already feel that burr forming. So we just wanna keep going until we have that, that consistent burr across the whole, whole night. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it right there now. Got it everywhere. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this knife um, just like that. And now we're gonna do this other side. I say this in all my videos, but what you want to do is you want to spend more time up front on these steps um, and you want to get it, get it right. You want to be able to feel that burr on each side. Um, otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to get down the road uh, with these other grits and it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be as good because you won't have gotten that burr. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch out this 220. We're done with 220 already. And we're going to go to 320. Um, you can see I got 320 on there. And the reason we're switching is because I felt the burr. I already felt it on both sides. So we don't need to keep, we don't need to keep going too long. We just need to get the burr. So now what we start doing is refining the edge. We're just refining it, making that apex um, finer grain. Each progression in the diamond stones makes it a little bit smoother. And these work, these work really fast. <laughs> it's one of the beauties of this system. You don't want to go fast, you just want to take your time, but they work very well. So 
So now we'll flip it. I'm just going to clean it. And now we'll work on this other side. Done with 320, now we'll move to 400. I'm gonna flip it and we're gonna wipe it. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of the, the towel that went there and that's catching the burr. So we know that the burr has formed um, the way we want it to. And guys, let me just let me just pause for a second. I truly believe what you're watching here is the best way to sharpen a knife, the fastest way to sharpen a knife, and the most consistent way to sharpen it. And it'll be it'll be so sharp that um, it's just incredible. Factories can't do this. Buck knives is, is great. They're known for putting great apexes on their knife, but we're taking it to a whole nother level they wouldn't be able to match this even close. I mean, this takes, you know, an extra 20 or 30 minutes. They don't have someone sitting in the shop doing this to 10,000 knives. They just don't have, it's not money. There's no money in it. So this is literally 100, 200 times better than uh, anything they could ever get. And especially if you're a collector. I mean, if you collect knives, your whole collection should look like this and you could get it like this. You just have to take, you know, about one weekend or a few weekends and just go through all your knives and uh, get them, you know, get them super sharp like that. I'm gonna do this side again. And I should mention too, it doesn't matter exactly what system you have. Like if you're using a Wicked Edge or a TS Prof or whatever, I happen to uh, be using this one um, and it works, it works really, really good. Um, but the sequence and all that stuff remains the same no matter what system you have. This system just seems to work, you know, it's really quick how <laughs> it works. So now we're gonna go to 600. Not a bad idea to wipe this stuff up too. really cleaning up nice. Okay, we're gonna move to 800.
So right now we're on the ceramic. This knife already is uh, dangerously, dangerously sharp. All right, guys, now we're going to actually go and use the lapping film. So this is where if you're looking for lapping films and you want to learn more about it, click my link up here. I'll tell you how to get them, how to buy them, that whole kind of stuff if you're looking for that. But we're going to jump into it. This is the first one. This is actually 30 microns. If I can get it on here. Come on. And I do put a little bit of water just a little bit of water on those and what this does is it takes it to the next level guys so this will really really start to put that apex on the knife I'll put a little more a little more water Take a clean rag and keep keep cleaning that. Oops. We're done with that one anyway. Now we're gonna move on to 12 micron. Put a little bit of water. You'll notice um, as you guys do this that this really puts the mirror, the mirror edge on it. It's kind of incredible. And I'll show you this knife when we're all done. We can do, we can flip it one more time. Oh, and I just want to remind people um, like I said earlier, don't forget to check out Little Fit Devil's page. She's the one that sent me this knife to sharpen, so make sure you check out her page. She's got some really awesome, really awesome stuff. And now, <laughs> she's going to have one of the sharpest knives that, <laughs> that money can buy. Money can't even buy it. <laughs> mess with her. <laughs> Alright. We're good on that one. 
Set that aside. It's good to clean these a lot um, in between because there's all kinds of contamination. And when you do clean, be super careful, guys. This knife is already hair popping. Um, I mean, you just got to be, you got to be so careful. Okay, here we go. This is a nine micron. Put a little bit of water on it. Put a little more water in it. And we'll clean this um, knife in a little bit. I know it kind of looks, there's a little bit of like residue. That's okay. We're done with nine. Now we're moving on to six. Let me flip it. That's incredibly sharp. Like I, I, I can't even like tell you guys how, how sharp that is. All right, now we're moving to three micron. I don't know why, but for me, I notice I notice it really getting polished at around three. What do you think? Move on to the next one. Again, you guys could spend more time on this if you're doing it yourselves. I just kind of, I probably go a little faster because I know we're on video, but you guys could go a little faster. One micron. What do they say that is? 14,000 maybe? I'm not sure. 14,000 grid equivalent, something like that. I, I can't quite remember what, what one is, but it's very high. It, it feels like paper when I run that by, I mean, it actually, not paper, paper would be rougher. Um, I don't know what that feels like, but it's smooth. <laughs> I mean, it, you can't even hear it. It really does a it really does a phenomenal job too. Let's move it to the next side. Whew. It's 
to it with that one. Okay, let's go to 0.5. I almost get uh, scared myself because this is so sharp, guys. I mean, it's, I mean, you literally have no idea how sharp that is. Sorry, I didn't understand that. <laughs> I bet. A lot of people can't understand that. And if you're not careful, you'll cut these films. So I'm trying to not, I'm trying to not cut them. I think that's it, guys. I mean, that's hard to believe, but I think that's it. Let's pull this. Let's lift this up. We'll pull this out. And we'll lift this up again. We'll pull this thing out. And uh, let's see. What am I doing here? All right. I just took it out. I had to switch my camera to focus more up close. So I'm going to try to get you some pictures of this. Let's take it out of the, the vice grip here. So you just unscrew this the opposite way. I haven't done anything more. Use another clean cloth here. This is where you got to be really careful. Had I spent a little more time, I, I probably could have got it a little bit better, but um, let's just see if this can cut hair. Oh my God. <laughs> Tree tapping. <laughs> That's incredible, guys. Um, I'm not going to do many more uh, tests on it, but that's absolutely like I'll clean it up a hair more, um, but it is, it is viciously sharp. That's how you do it. <laughs> and so just to recap, this is the Buck 110, almost looks like a Ranger one because it's got these finger grooves. And now um, Little Fit Devil has a much sharper knife than uh, when she sent it to me. So there it is, ready to be sent back. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new. There's going to be tons more stuff like this coming out. Have a great day.